Hello, folks. The verdict is in for Jonathan Majors. He has been found guilty of physical abuse against his former girlfriend. But not only that, after his guilty conviction, he has been terminated from participation in the MCU. I mean, MCU. Hmm, what a surprise there. Over. It's never over. Marvel Studios drops Jonathan Majors following guilty verdict for harassment and assault. Marvel Studios has parted ways with Jonathan Majors, the actor cast to play Kang, the central antagonist in the multiverse saga of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, also known as the MCU after he was convicted on December 18th of two misdemeanor accounts of harassment and assault of Grace Jabari, his ex-girlfriend. A source close to the studio confirmed this decision to Variety. In the verdict, Majors was also found not guilty of one account of intentional assault in the third degree and one account of aggravated harassment in the second degree. I'm not a lawyer. I have no idea what the different degrees means. Look it up or ask one of your lawyer tubers. You know who's a great lawyer to ask? Legal mindset. Go check him out. The actor was arrested on March 25th on assault and harassment charges after Jabari accused majors of assaulting her in the back seat of a private car after she took his phone to read a text message he'd received from another woman. Jabari alleged that Majors forcefully retrieved his phone from her, causing an excruciating injury to her right middle finger, and when she exited the car, Majors hit her on the back of her head and then tried to force her back into the car, causing a cut behind her right ear. The 34-year-old actor denied that he assaulted Jabari. His defense team has alleged that she was the aggressor when she took his phone. Right, that's how that works. Since his arrest, Majors has been dropped by his talent manager, Entertainment 360, and his publicity firm, The Ledge Company. He's no longer involved with the protagonist pictures film, The Man in My Basement. The U.S. Army also pulled a major ad campaign featuring majors. A major ad campaign featuring majors. You get it. Wow. As did the Texas Rangers baseball team. Several other projects involving majors include Spike Lee's The Understudy for Amazon and the Dennis Rodman film 48 Hours in Vegas for Lionsgate, remain in limbo. But Marvel's decision to sever ties with the actor registers as the most high-profile professional consequence of Major's arrest and now conviction to date. He first played a version of the multiverse-hopping villain Kang in the final season... Sorry, in the season finale of the 2021 Disney Plus series Loki, which... I think I watched the first two episodes and I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. An episode that established the primary storytelling engine for the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward and Major's character as a pivotal figure at the heart of it. What's funny to me is that they actually waited until he was convicted to fire him. Because Disney, Lucasfilm, Marvel... They're not really known to wait until someone is actually convicted of a crime. No, they just usually take Twitter's word for it. As was the case with uh, Gina Carano. You know, when she was tired of seeing her country, the United States, in a downward spiral, people going after other people because they didn't agree with their thoughts. 
strange how that works. Right? What's next for the cinematic universe, you ask? I'm not entirely sure. What we do know is that there is a report that the X-Men will be heavily female-centric. I mean, the X-Men, they do have good female characters. However, that is not enough. No, we have to make it female-centric. More wokeness. Disney is burning right now, and I'm loving it. And who knows? There might be other rumors going on. And to touch up on those rumors, could it possibly be that Elon Musk is setting himself up to buy Disney or, at the very least, team up with Nelson and Perlmutter to take over Disney? I mean, if you look at it, he's going out, calling out Bob Iger, calling out Disney, saying things like Walt Disney would be turning in his grave if he knew what was happening to his company, much like what he did to Twitter right before he announced wanting to buy Twitter. Hopefully more on that soon. If you want to know about it, definitely stay tuned to the channel because I will be covering it as best as I can. That being said, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that I am trying to get back into things. I have been so busy momentarily with all my courses, learning about video editing, learning about animation in After Effects, and now doing a social media course. Now, and how far that will help me, I'm not entirely sure. I hope it will. I hope you stay tuned, and I will definitely be getting back into things. I am trying to switch things up on my channel. It, I'm not quite there yet. And I also am going to be doing some more editing for Brandon the Anime Guy. So definitely, once that starts in the new year, go check out those videos. I will be involved, hopefully, with most of them. And definitely let me know what you think over there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider smashing that like button. It definitely lets me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm making. And hey, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. Because if you do that, it helps the channel grow which means that I can actually, you know, say, hey, the channel is growing. I have a reason to be here and to make more content for you. Because if you're liking it, more content, you know, better for you, right? Better for me as well if you subscribe. So it's a give and take, really. Try it. You know, for a little while, at least. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Until next time.